Alright then we've done app.cpp and we've done app.hpp now. Um, last thing we've got to do is just change win main a little bit because um, you know we have to fit it with the class now. I haven't changed uh, anything in this file up to now. Uh, this is the same one as the first lesson. Um, if you remember in the first lesson we had these global variables. Uh, well they're not there now, they're now instance variables in our uh, C app class. So the first thing I'm going to do uh, is create a new instance of C app. Uh, call it my app. It's a new C app. Right. Uh, because these are there, we're going to use the my app equivalents. So my app. Remember points to type three D just copy this because we need that as well uh, the global pointer to direct 3d device isn't there anymore we've got the member now so we'll use the member um, we also need to change this and this okay so now we need to call the methods of my app. Um, the first thing we, we a method we're going to call it is the initialization. Uh, we need to call it after we've created the device because if you remember the uh, the class, the C app class, the methods in that uh, rely on the uh, being a device created because we call methods of the device. So if it hasn't been created, we'll we'll just get an exception. So we have to call the initialization my app. Initialize. There we go. We must do that after we've created the device. Um, if you remember, we also turn the handle to re return the, the handle to a result, so we can detect whether this worked with the failed. There we go. So if it failed, uh, we'll just call error. Um, I don't know. Could not initialize. Could not init. Uh, and then we're just going to call cleanup. So we can clean up anything that is been, you know, any interfaces that, is, that have been created. And then finally return zero to Windows because it, it failed. Uh, we just want to call this once. We only need to initialize things once. Um, so we'll do that outside of the while loop because the while loop is what's going to be the execution of the program uh, after it's entered it. Uh, the next method that <coughs> we're going to call uh, is the render method uh, and we must do that in between clear and present because clear will wipe the back buffer it will wipe the area of memory that's going to be sent to the screen uh, present will send the um, send the back buffer to the screen so if we clear it to black then draw our stuff onto the render buffer uh, then present it to the screen which is what we're going to do so you can also de detect it, whether it works or not with a failed. If my app render works, so if we draw everything to the screen, uh, draw everything to the graphics card, sorry, buffer in the graphics card, um, then we're just going to error out uh, render failed or something like that. And then I'm just going to break break away from the loop end the program um, check all this oh, I've got a bit of a bracket problem there there we go um, yeah so if this if this uh, if this fails we're gonna we're gonna break from the loop uh, if it works we'll, we'll render the stuff and then present it to the screen uh, these here we're calling the previous global variables we don't need the, these anymore because we have the cleanup so I'm just going to call the cleanup method there. Just one more thing to do. Uh, we have to make sure that we do the proper houseworks and delete my app. Uh, we should probably check whether it needs to be deleted anywhere else. 
Yeah, we should do it there. Uh, and here. Should probably. Yeah. Safe to call this clean up method anywhere. Because. Uh, if we go. If we go back to it. In an app.cpp. Uh, it won't execute any of the, any of these if they don't exist. So you can call it anywhere just to make sure that it, you know, to make sure you actually clean up everything as you go. Right then, I think we're all coded up. Let's see what happens. We're in the program. Ah, there you go. Look, got a window up with our coloured triangle in it. <coughs> now notice here as well. Uh, we've got the red vertex the green vertex and the blue vertex and what direct3 has done for us is it's interpolated the colour across the edge of the triangle so you know essentially it's blended from blue to red and then red to green and then it's picked you know for every single point on this this edge it's also interpolated the colours across for us and that's essentially left us with a, a solid triangle solid triangle even though we de defined only three points uh, right then um, I guess that's the end of my tutorial this time uh, hope you tune in for the next one, thanks